plenty of teams already in the midst of their final third of the season, quite frankly, others sort of just entering and, and stepping in to that right now. Let's let's start with that. We had um, midweek action this week, just last night, North Carolina Courage hosting Portland Thorns FC. They pick up a second consecutive win. Is the unthinkable going to happen here? I don't know. Right. But there's a it's something you got to celebrate the, the doves when you get in and the courage have two in a row now. But at what cost, Lisa? Because yeah. even though they won this game, they end up winning three one against Portland Thorns Wednesday night goals from Diana Ordonia. She is level with Sophia Smith now in this golden boot race. It's Alex Morgan with 12 goals on the season. And now Diana Ordonia is the rookie and Sophia Smith with 11 goals getting the opening goal scoring here. And then you have Davinia uh, getting a go ahead goal early. Rocky Rodriguez trying to pull one back for the thorns of Meredith Smith putting this one on ice for the courage. And we saw uh, Ordonia's have to come out of this one kind of early. Yeah. Yeah, that was um, definitely one of the lowest points of, of this game is watching Diana Ordonez go down, looks to be her shoulder is injured, um, which is very painful. It's incredibly painful to have your shoulder pop out of, of its socket. I don't know if that's what happened, but uh, did not look you're, great you're, from that. You're, you speak about that as if like you <laughs> might have experience with Lisa. Have you had a shoulder injury before? As a I have not had like any shoulder surgery. So like I'm very lucky and fortunate there. I'm going to knock on some wood as, as yeah. you know, Sandra, and maybe some of our listeners, I play soccer a couple times a week. I, I try yeah. to work out, try to do my pull-ups on occasion. And there are definitely days where I'm like, this is not a good day for my shoulder, but um, it's just painful. It's not great to happen. And, and ultimately they take her off the pitch, which I think is a super smart decision at this point. She's already scored her goal and she ends up being in a sling on the sidelines, um, but no stretcher, right? Like, but also it's an upper body injury. Like most times players can walk after that, no matter what happens. Um, we were told in the post game from Sean Nehas, head coach of the courage that we would find out hopefully today. Um, and at this point of this recording, we're going live right now in, in the afternoon, right before three o'clock Eastern, there's no word yet on Ordonez and, and kind of what can happen there. Um, but it, we will find out. I, I wouldn't expect to see her play this weekend because both of these sides, Portland and North Carolina back in action this weekend. Um, Sandra, I'm sorry, but we just have to like pause, rewind, go back because you said at the beginning, when you started talking about this game, we have to celebrate the little wins. And I would like to take a moment to celebrate my win of picking North Carolina <laughs> to win this match over the thorns because I, I picked the courage. I, I wanted them to, to go I on a little it. bit of a streak and a run. And that's exactly what they did with this three goal win. I mean, and this was huge. I think the fans in, in Cary, North Carolina showed up at wake med. Uh, you could tell it was a home game for North Carolina and that perhaps gave them the little lift that they needed, but or Ordonia's had a great game. And so this injury is pretty devastating, but we don't know the, the depths of it yet, but either way, like to go down and have to come off is not always a positive thing, but her combination play with Caroline and Dabinia is, is just fantastic. I think Brianna Pinto had a great game. I mean, Denise O'Sullivan has been putting in so much work defensively for this North Carolina side that in the midfield, um, it, she just does it so well. She does it so, so well for them. Uh, and, and really stopping Sophia Smith uh, from getting on the board in this match, which I think was a pretty big deal for uh, for North Carolina, even though Rocky Rodriguez does get one for Portland, the lone goal for the Thorns in this match. Uh, but a heck of a battle between these two sides. We knew it was going to be. And they're both back in action this weekend, which I'm sure we'll talk about later. Yeah, I um, I thought that this game was a little bit different compared to some of the midweek matches that mm -hmm. we've witnessed over the course of the last couple months. Specifically, I I just I, there was a moment where I was torn. I was like, do I want to actually like just for parity say go the opposite side and go with Thorns, which I ultimately ended up doing, or do I maybe want to go with a draw? Because there have been moments where sometimes you sort of see a team coming off of a heavy match, it'll kind of hit a wall a little bit. Sometimes a quick turnaround. Um, we see that happen for, for both uh, teams on the pitch. But I don't know if I necessarily uh, think you had that feeling uh, watching mm -hmm. this match between the two teams. I thought that the Courage did a pretty good job of, of making sure that they took advantage of the fact that, you know, the Thorns were coming off of, of that uh, WICC tournament and, you know, kind of getting stepping back into uh, regular season, um, you know, match play. And then you kind of saw the 
you know, with the starting 11 and then the adjustments that we saw, the player rotation that we saw from Coach Wilkinson for the Thorns, you kind of saw like they're, they're going to have to, you know, take a look at their match week this week, knowing that they've got, you know, midweek game and then there's things ahead in the future. So I was a little bit curious if perhaps we were going to continue to see the courage just sort of go out there and, and get at it. And that's really what we saw in this game. I think really early on sort of seeing, you know, the continuation of, of this, it's, it's special. I think what we're, what we're witnessing right now, I think regardless of where you're looking at a team's standing at this point in the season, you're looking at a team like the courage and you're looking at their attack and you have got to be as optimistic as ever. I think for the season ahead of you, quite frankly, I think, mm -hmm. you know, you're talking 25 minutes into this game or continuing to, to just be this threat for, for the courage in the back, no matter who is on the, you know, assisting end of it, whether it's a Carson Pickett who had a great ball in or, or somebody like, oh, you know, so Devinia or Caroline or, or Caroline, like continuing their chemistry, you know, on the pitch together. So it's a, it's an exciting time, I think, regardless uh, of the standings for, for this team. And I, and I was curious if, if maybe we were going to be heading for a draw because, you know. know, talking about players making an impact, having Rodriguez up into this match and so sort, just sort of trying to, to help the Thorns kind of take a little bit of control in the, in the midfield there um, to get one back and it just past the hour mark. I thought maybe there were the makings of, of a draw potentially in this one. Fantastic. Um, link up between her and, and Yasmin Ryan, who is continuing to to have a really good second half of the season Huge. for the Thorns. Um, but again, I think it really was about just sort of maybe a little bit of player adjustment or in-game adjustments because we're just we just sort of saw after that how 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 Speck was able to kind of put things away for the courage. And she was someone that that subbed in um as well. So big three points, I think, for for the courage, mm -hmm. if, even if it's just for mentality sake, right? Like moving forward. Um, and then like you said, like listening to to Nahas in, in the post game that a big part of, of Ordonez coming out was because of like maybe looking ahead a little bit that they don't want to, it was, she was taken out uh, uh, more out of, you know, precautionary measures, not so much. It was the staff that sort of made yeah. that decision for them. Naha saying in the post game that the doctors were going to leave it up to the players and the coach success said, well, actually we're not going to no. leave that up to the player. <laughs> we're going to make sure that we just look ahead a little bit and say, no, that she's too young and she's too good to be kind of frivolous uh, with that. So and, um, and she had already scored at that point. Like that's yeah. something really important to look at 24th minute. She gets a goal and about 10 minutes later in the 33rd minute is when, um, she goes down and this substitute happens. So it, a player at that point is, is riled up. They're super confident. Yeah. They're like, no, I want to keep my, I want to keep yeah. going. Um, I think it's honestly the super smart decision and, and hindsight, right? 2020, but the courage end up getting the win in this one, no matter yeah. what. So could Diana maybe had had a, a brace in this game or, or made it four yeah. one perhaps, but it doesn't matter. They picked up the three points. Uh, she has now 11 goals on the year. I think the rotation with Brittany Radcliffe coming in was a great substitute for Sean Neha. She provided a lot. And I, I know you were talking about Yasmin Ryan and some of these, um, underrated players but they're not underrated they just maybe don't get as much recognition because they're not picking up individual points yeah. on this or goals for their team but they're doing a lot of the dirty work and and Radcliffe is one that influenced um definitely the third goal on this game and and even the second one a little bit on Dabinia she just made these great runs she was dragging uh the defenders away from other people I mean and that Dabinia goal the, the second goal for North Carolina it was such a beautiful uh, uh, incredible, incredible shot. And then Abby Smith gets a great save for Portland. I mean, this game had a little bit of everything. Yeah. We and could that's the other side of it, too. We're talking about the goals, but, you know, shame on us because we say that we love defense and we love goalkeeping. But Abby Smith, like, stepping in for Bella Bixby in this one, you know, yeah. again, I, I, the head coach, the coaching staff, like, making, you know, smart decisions for their players as the, as the regular season kind of winds down. Wilkinson also saying, like, hey, like, Bixby was going to sit this one out, wasn't necessary for her to travel, Mm -hmm. Smith is more than capable and we saw Smith, you know, the scoreline doesn't reflect that, but came up with some massive saves uh, in this one for, for Portland. So I'm curious to sort of see where these two teams go from this midweek match as they both have some games, uh, you know, coming up in, in into the weekend, which we will preview.